Hello, I'm Maria Gabriela Jones, and this is my instructional presentation on ESL English as a Second Language Community Resources. Thank you. Leander is a small suburban community in Texas, and like many other communities across the country, it is growing, not just in population, but in diversity. The city is welcoming more and more Spanish speakers as evidenced by the fact that the public school district has had to double its offering of Spanish-English bilingual programs to comply with Texas education law. These free and mandatory school programs cover the learning needs of young Spanish speakers, but there are Spanish native speaking adults in these same households that also have English learning needs and would benefit from guidance on how to address these needs. This presentation is intended for adult Spanish speakers in the community who wish to learn more about English learning resources available in Leander, Texas. Ideally, the presentation would be conducted in both languages, English and Spanish, because our patrons may have different levels of English proficiency. And it would be available on the library's webpage so that patrons can access it and fill out the survey at the end at their own convenience. Here are the learning objectives for this session. Participants will identify low and no cost ESL resources available in our community. This is in accordance with the ALA core values, which state that libraries are an essential public good. We must promote resources that are available to everyone, regardless of socioeconomic status. The second objective states participants will determine which resources best fit their information needs and participants will determine how to access these resources. The learning outcomes align to the searching a strategic exploration frame of the ACRL framework because one of its knowledge practices states, learners who are developing their information literate abilities identify interested parties such as scholars, organizations, governments, and industries who might produce information about a topic and then determine how to access that information. The Leander Public Library has few English learning resources at the library, but those few are intended for Spanish native speakers. Some of the books available include Inglés Express, English for Everyone, Fácil Redacta su Curriculum en Inglés, the last one provides orientation on how to write a resume in English. These are general ESL resources that can be used to review or improve English proficiency at any level from beginners to advanced. There are also resources in other formats. English on your own comes in DVDs. Inglés para hispanoparlantes comes in CDs. Like other materials at the library, this can all be checked out for three weeks and then renewed for another three weeks if there is no hold on them. You can also request them online or by phone. There are also library English learning materials available online through Overdrive, the app for ebooks. Some of the ebooks available include English for Spanish speakers, a touch of English, Test prep ebooks for specific assessments. These last books include the most recent editions for each type of test. There is one audiobook available, Aprenda en su Auto. You can access the Overdrive app through the link on the library's webpage. The library homepage also includes a link to Mango Languages. This is a subscription purchased by the library and it offers courses in many languages, including English. Your library account will also give you access to the app version of this resource. The link is actually not working on the library homepage at the moment, but thanks to this assignment, they are now aware and are currently working on fixing it. The Williamson County Literacy Council provides ESL classes online via Zoom at the moment due to the pandemic. When classes resume in person, some of the locations include local public schools or churches. The council will update the physical locations when classes in person resume. 
You can register online at the Williamson County Literacy Council website or call them. The phones are listed on the Leander Library webpage as well as this presentation. There is a yearly $25 donation request for materials, but this can be waived if there is financial hardship. There are other helpful websites to learn English. These include the USCIS Citizenship Research Center. This is where you can find study materials for the American Naturalization Test. This is an official government website and materials are aligned to the latest version of the test. Another helpful site is usalearns.org. This is a free website designed by the Sacramento County Office of Education in California. It offers courses for beginner and intermediate adult English learners. It also contains study materials for the citizenship test. You will need an email address to register. Duolingo is another option. Duolingo uses the freemium model, which means the app and the website is free of charge. You will also need an email address to register. Thank you very much for your interest in this presentation. Please click on one of the links below to fill out a short survey about the presentation. The survey is available in English and Spanish. This concludes my presentation. Now let me show you the survey so that you can see how the presentation will be assessed. The first question helps the participants narrow their information needs so that they're able to answer the second question. The answers to the first question also help the library determine the community's ESL needs. There is an open answer option for participants to add an additional need. The second question measures whether participants were able to identify and determine which resource best matches their needs. The purpose of the third and fourth question is to determine whether participants know how to access the selected ESL resources. These answers could help determine if the library needs to reschedule a, a session, a group session, or one-on-one -on -one sessions to help patrons access a particular resource. The fifth question is an open feedback question to improve the session as needed. The answers could help the library better understand the ESL needs in the community, and it could help refine or expand the selection of ESL resources presented. Thank you all for your time and attention to this presentation. Here are the citations.